Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, in today's video we're going to talk about how to manage errors in Power Query. So I will show you different ways to do it and then you can apply the best for you. Let's begin. Okay, so for this tutorial I am going to use the file that I use for mapping locations in Power BI. I did a three video series where I went through different techniques of how to map locations in Power BI. And this is an excellent example for how to manage errors. I actually did this on the file, so if you've seen the videos and download them, you've seen that technique, but I've never explained it. So I take the possibility of the opportunity to do it now in case you missed it or you're wondering what that was if you're looking through the file. So what we have here is a list of locations in Asturias. Asturias is in, in the north of Spain and uh, we were using Google Maps to map these regions accurately. Okay, so let's go into Power Query and see how that look, looks like. Here we have the list with Asturias region. It's a very simple table. I just have the name in Spanish, the name in Asturiano is a dialect of Asturias. And then with that, we've got a latitude and longitude from Google Maps. We actually use the name in Spanish to find the latitude and longitude. And Google Maps could find all of the um, locations so that is great but if for any reason it didn't then you will have some trouble so what we're going to do is let's duplicate these and we're going to remove up to there okay so what we have now is again the same list but what we're going to do is instead of giving Google Maps the names in Spain for the region, we're going to give them the name in Babli. So this this column or Asturiano. Don't know what is it called nowadays. Anyhow, we put it in there. Okay. And now we have the location in Asturiano. So we feed that to Google Maps. Now, if you don't know what this is, make sure to check the uh, video where I show you how to do this. I will post a link below. And as you can see here, Google Maps is not able to find um, all the locations. Where Google Maps cannot find it, you will see this error. You see it there? So there is a little bit everywhere. Now, there are different options on how to manage this and depending on the data that you're using and how important it is to keep those errors or not. One of the things you can do is you just right click and say remove errors and then you can just expand and get the latitude and longitude. Now, this would not make sense in here, right? You do want the locations, the latitude and longitude of all the regions, you just don't want to meet some of them. So when I was working mapping locations in a, in a project, it just drove me nuts because I wanted to have a way to actually filter out which regions um, Google Maps were was actually having problems with to, to be able to fix it. Either um, it was a wrong location or I could have a nearby location or I could, you know, I could modify the address so you could actually point, pinpoint the right address even if you didn't find it right away. But for that I needed to, to have a list of all the things that had returned an error. And there is a way to do this, it's really cool, you will see. So we go to add column, custom column and then we go try and we give them the column that was returned by Google Maps and you'll see what it does. 
Oui. So, so it will give us a new column. We will expand that. I'll, I'll show you everything. I don't always. So here it says true, false, true, false. So it will tell you if that specific row has an error or not. And then instead of returning a table, it will return empty. And then if you open up here, you will get the values that are correct, where you've got latitude and longitude, and the rest will give us an empty row. So you could actually filter here by empty, or you could filter here by um, true or false. So if you filter by true, you will get a list of all the locations where Google Maps actually had problems. And then you can actually go in and manually correct if possible. But either way, it will give you the entire list instead of just the list that um, didn't have any errors. Now, let me show you this also. If you don't remove the errors, let's say, okay, this is what I've got. And then you just expand. You do nothing else but expand. You see what it does? It will return the entire list until it hits an error and then it will stop and it will not give you any more information. So then you will have to go back and remove the errors. But again, you don't want to do that. So the best way at column, custom column, try Google Maps. Okay. And then you just expand everything. Voila, you have the entire list, even the ones that gave you an error. So this is all for today. If you like the video, please let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have comments or questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.